Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Play Stars Table. So today we are here in Silverglade with Linda, who yesterday decided to go through the books that we collected for her yesterday on the Witch Pie, I believe, because we are trying to rescue Justin's horse. Now, I did do a few quests off camera, like some of the Mistfall quests, because a lot of you had already seen that and I didn't want to show you the same thing that you've most likely already watched. So today we will be helping Linda and Alex with the Witch Pie, hopefully opening at Scarecrow Hill. And we will be heading down to Moreland to do some blacksmithing with Conrad so that we can get our horseshoes. I have been waiting such a long time for this, and I believe we are on day six. So without further ado, let's get started by talking to Linda. Uh, hello, Lorelei. I must have dozed off. Wouldn't be the first time. <sighs> Linda, wake up. Hello. Oops, sorry. I think I nodded off there again. I guess you want to know if I found something we can use? I think I have one thing. Okay. Tell me. This is what I discovered. Legend has it that there is a type of golden apple that has magical properties that would have some effect on an evil witch. These apples only grow on special trees and only once a year. According to legend, the apple transforms evil witches into kind people again. And it is also a powerful weapon against those witches who, for centuries, have been doing everything they can to exterminate these trees. In any case, even if we find this rare, app rare apple, how are we going to get it? Get her to eat it? Mm -hmm. Linda? Well, another legend has it that the crueler the witch, the harder it is for her to resist the golden apple when it's offered to her. There is something about being truly cruel which builds up an irresistible appetite for the apple. Something that the apple merely releases the witch's inner desire to do good after e years of evil work. And cruel witch, a cruel witch wants to continue with her evil deeds and doesn't want to be liberated. But they can't resist the golden apple when it's offered by someone with a pure soul. I'm assuming that's us. Good question. All the known golden apple trees have been destroyed by witches, but I think one may have survived. Wait, it, is it the tree in Scarecrow Hill, the one we see all the time? Aha, you picked a golden apple in the apple orchard recently? I'm sorry, but I don't think, think that is the right kind of apple. There are golden apples, and then there are golden apples. But listen up. Every year there is a traditional race around Scarecrow Hill in Golden Hills Valley. The challenge is to be the first one to pick the first apple of the year from the old tree on Scarecrow Hill and bring it back to the finish line. I knew it. It does have to do with Scarecrow Hill. A few years back, Alex took part in the race under some strange circumstances. <clears throat> Since then, the whole area's area has been closed and have been no more races. I think we should speak with Alex about this. Can you take me to her? Yeah, sure. Oh. Let's go. Great. Just tell me when you're ready and take me up to take me to Alex. She'll probably still be watching the North Iron Gate. I'll see you outside. I bet you she's already on her horse. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this. We're on Stormheart today. Nikea is level 12. I was doing a lot of training with him. And... I just thought that it'd be best <clears throat> to switch horses. Linda? Ready to give me a ride to Alex over by the gate? Excellent. Let's go. Yes. We're gonna head to my home stable since my home stable is in Golden Hills. And Linda, I think... I don't think Diva appreciates this. <laughs> Guys... Uh, I forgot the things that can happen when you have someone riding on the back of your horse. Star Stable, you need to fix this. Let's call for pickup. Er
Earlier today, while I was going through my reputation... Linda, you look so weird. As I was going through my reputation, I realized that I'm already admired with the golden leaves, and I didn't even know it. So my reputation is high enough that I can do any quest that comes out, which is pretty cool. <sighs> Such a long jaunt. Then I think we need to head up by the wolves. Yes, Diva, I said wolves. She's not a huge fan of seeing Nikea's friends. But I guess if it has a good reason, she'd go. I just love Golden Hills. It's so beautiful. I think we head up this path. We get the wolf signs. Yep, there's the wolves. I gotta say, easy diva. I love the new wolves. They look amazing. Makes you wonder where their den is. I bet you it's up there. Aha, here we have Alex. Alex? Hello, Lorelai and Linda. Nice to see you again. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten all about me. Of course not, Alex. Settle down, Diva. You found out that a golden apple can transform a the witch? Hmm, sounds possible. It's true that there was a golden apple at Scarecrow Hill. I know I was... I know I was there and raced myself at the time, but Scarecrow Hill has been closed for a year or so. Do you think the key to the city gate opens Scarecrow Hill? It's not impossible. I still have the key. Take it and give it a shot. I'll stay and keep watch here while you ride over there and check it out. All right. Oh, so Linda's coming with us. Good to know. It's so far away. Hold on, you guys. I'll be right back. So, I'm not at Scarecrow Hill, but I got stuck in this forest, and I found my very first Golden Hill star. Yes! Star collection. Three. We've got our third star. All right. Let me see if I can get us out of this forest and over to Scarecrow Hill. Finally, you guys. We are now at Scarecrow Hill, and I see floating scarecrows. I bet you it doesn't open. I knew it. Lorelai, bad luck. The key doesn't fit. What next? Hmm. Councilman? Probably. What a bummer. Right over to Mayor Claus and ask him what the problem might be. He should know why the key won't open this stupid gate. I'll wait here while we figure out how to open. I already knew we had to go to Mayor Klaus. Claus, Klaus, however it's said. I bet you the scarecrows we saw in there, the ones that were moving, I bet you that's the reason the key doesn't work. He switched the keys, I bet you. It'd make a whole lot of sense. Two mere clouds. Thanks for the key. I hope you're able to open the north gate. What? You couldn't open the gate to Scarecrow Hill with the key to the city? 
Wait a minute. That is actually right. I locked the Scarecrow Hill gate years ago and threw away the key. What? Why did you throw away a key? Why did I lock the gate and throw away the key? Well, Scarecrow Hill used to be safe and beautiful. And they used to have great races there, but a few years ago, the Scarecrows came to life and got really scary. To keep the Scarecrows from escaping, I locked the door with a different key so nobody could get in, and I threw the key away to make sure the gate would stay locked. Maybe that wasn't so smart, now that I think about it, but I was scared and maybe wasn't thinking clearly. Obviously. Hmm. You th think it may be my wife, Pi, who brought the scarecrows to life and to prevent people from getting to the magic apple and making her nice again? Interesting idea. Oh well, what's done is done. You will have to find another way to open the gate. Sorry about that. But when you're scared, you don't always act logically. From what I've seen, you don't ever act logically. The key was thrown off the pier and is very deep there, so we won't be getting that key back. I don't know how else we're going to get into Scarecrow Hill. Maybe you know someone who can crack a lock like this? Whoa. What is it? Did you just think of something? Yes, we're going to the smugglers. My smuggler friends. Bob and Rob. I bet you we're going to borrow Rob's bolt cutters. Now, question is, can I remember how to get to them? This way. Follow the footprints. This might take me a few minutes, so I'll be back once we're in the smuggler cave. Finally, we are through the labyrinth coast. Now let's talk to Bob. Aha! Trouble on four legs. It's you again. I'm beginning to think there is more than one of you. Do you remember we want to keep a low profile and don't really want to be famous like you? Ah, you need our help again. With a lock? Yeah. So you want to break into Scarecrow Hill. You have Mayor Claus' permission? Okay, but this is the last time we help. Then you must leave us alone. Agreed? Yeah, sure, whatever, Bob. You're going to need me eventually. Speak with my associate, Rob. Here, he has some bolt cutters. He can lend you. You make sure to bring those back when you are done breaking in. Hmm, me, Rob. You want to borrow bolt cutters? Rob, say okay. Okay, you borrow bolt cutters from me. You bring cutters back when ready. You understand? Yes. Now, let me get all the way back up to Scarecrow Hill. And... I'll be right back. Alright, let's crack it open. Of course I have to be off Diva. Come on. There we go. With some effort, you managed to get the lock open. Better return the bolt cutter as soon as possible. That Rob guy seems weird. And not the kind of weird you want to irritate. Better do it before going into Scarecrow Hill. Look, the scarecrows are moving. So, I'm going to finish returning the bolt cutters to Rob. And then I will be back once we are with Conrad Marston in Moreland. Right, now we're here in Moreland with Conrad to continue our blacksmithing to get our horseshoes. Now, tomorrow should be the day we get our horseshoes, I think. I'm not sure. So, let's get started. Now, I am aware that this quest is broken in a way, and it glitches. You will understand what I mean when you see it, but let's get started. This is the second to last day of blacksmithing. Soon you will have the best horseshoes in Yorvik. Let's get to work. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's open our backpack. As you can see, they're kind of screwed up. <laughs> What's up first? Heat the iron on the forge with the tongs. And we stick the hammer in the forge. Great. Mm. Work the iron on the anvil with the hammer. Mm. 
cool the iron in the water. Eat the iron on the forge. This is semi-repetitive, so I'll be back once I'm finished. Alrighty, so we just finished working with the horseshoes. Let's talk to Conran. Well done. Tomorrow is the last day of blacksmithing. Now let the iron set for the final night, and tomorrow we will need more nails, and not just any nails. Listen up, Lorelai. We need some more nails for your horseshoes. The best kind is not made anymore. The kind used by the ancient horse people and only the best is good enough for horse shoes as fine as these. You can find some of those nails along the beach below Miss Soulsworth Cottage, right over there and the cottage and collect eight more nails from the same place where you found them last time. Yes. So I'm going to do this off camera. Conrad, I have your nails. Good Lorelai, now we have enough nails. I'm sorry guys, but that is all the time we have for today. This actually went over the time I was aiming for, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to know whenever I post, and stay tuned for the next video. See you guys later.